Welcome to the REI Foundation Podcast, where we cover all the steps and strategies to make your real estate dreams a reality. Now your hosts, Jason and Peely. So before we dive into the show, we wanted to say thank you so much to all the listeners out there. It's always great to have you dive in with us on all these great topics we were to have able to have three times a week. And if you want to hear more about us, go to yourusiholdings.com. You can find everything about us from projects we're working on, more about our team members, how we break it up, and all the resources we offer. And if you want to invest, learn more about investing with us there. Also, make sure to check out our multifamily meetup if you're local here in New Jersey. We run the New Jersey Multifamily Investment Meetup, and it happens to be every second Tuesday of the month uh, here in North Central Jersey. So if you're in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, make sure to check it out. And lastly, if you want to learn more about investing in apartment buildings, go to multifamilyfoundation.com. All right, check out the show. And welcome to another edition of Multifamily Monday here on the Real Estate Investing Foundation podcast. Happy Monday, happy to be back at it. Today we're gonna to talk about cost of capital. So as you are evaluating your opportunities and putting together your multifamily syndications, it's really imperative for you to understand the uh, difference between your cost of capital. Ideally, you're going to be bringing in equity and debt. Uh, the equity is going to be covering uh, basically your down payment, uh, your fees, your capital expenditures, uh, your reserves, your, your closing costs. Uh, and you're going to partner that with some form of debt, whether it be um, agency debt, uh, bridged uh, debt. And from that component, you're going to have to understand the ability to use the different factors of equity and debt to your advantage. Ultimately, when you're putting together these syndications, you're going to have the opportunity in some instances to bring on equity to, to do some of the repairs and do some of the capital expenditures that you have as your repositioning plan. But there may also be the opportunity to now roll some of those capital expenditures into your loan. What's going to be imperative and important for you is to note what is the cost of that. Ideally, if you're going to be paying out a preferred return for the equity and then also have a split on the equity past that, um, for using that equity, well, that equity may be a much more expensive option than rolling the, uh, basically the capital expenditures into your loan if you have that option. However, there's two things to know. One, you don't want to be over leveraged on the property where you have a considerable amount of the property leverage. You want to have the access to that money easily and frequently because with rolling the money into, into debt or into uh, the loan, you may have a number of different hurdles or a number of di different stages that it takes for you to have ability to access that capital. So although it may sound good on paper that you're paying only uh, three, four, four percent, five percent for basically the money that you're going to have put aside for the expenditures, well, you may have to actually front that money up front to be able to use that money uh, to cover the repairs just to get that money back. So it's almost to the point that you're having to have that money twice. So your cost of capital may not just be the three or four or five percent that you have allocated for that money that gets rolled into the loan for the construction items. Um, on the other side, if the money is easily accessible, it might be a cheaper variety as long as you can keep yourself. Um, not over leveraged on the property to be able to have money used cheaper to you and not have it rolled to equity. You have to be paying out for the use of this money as construction. So ultimately it's going to be important for you to just understand the difference between the cost of capital. How much are you going to have that you're going to need for the construction? And are you going to use that construction money to come from the equity side or the debt side? And then you can partner us to see what the investment will look like using money either which way and also what debt options are available to you. So again, it's not a one trick pony with multifamily investing. You want to think about all different sides of it. How can I make this the, the best investment for my investors? How can I make this the best investment just to perform overall and make this a better a community uh, to really have a better place for people to live. Look at that from all those angles and you're ultimately going to succeed on all fronts. All right. Happy Monday. Happy investing. Get after it. Bye now. Thanks for tuning into the REI Foundation Podcast. Check back next time for more awesome tips and strategies to launch your new you in real estate.